Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and today I'm back here in New York City for another truly exciting visit. We're about to step into the New York workshop of Jean Rousseau, a Paris-based atelier renowned for creating some of the world's most exquisite watch straps and leather accessories. Some of you may recall that in a recent video, I had the pleasure of visiting Jean Rousseau's boutique in London's Piccadilly Arcade, and during that visit, I commissioned a beautiful bespoke watch strap for my much-treasured Chopard Perpetual Calendar. Crafted from a gentle suede crocodile leather and a stunning shade of green, and meticulously stitched in gold thread, it is an exquisite sartorial statement that I've genuinely enjoyed more than I ever could have originally imagined. So why stop there whenever the bespoke process offers such limitless creative possibilities? I have derived so much pleasure from my Jean Rousseau watch strap, I found myself contemplating the idea of commissioning a matching bespoke lighter case to complement the strap and further showcase Jean Rousseau's impeccable craftsmanship. As I'm currently here in New York City, it seemed a perfect opportune time to drop in and meet with Jean Rousseau's talented team to discuss this irresistible project while continuing to explore the incredible artistry that goes into creating their entire range of stunning bespoke leather accessories. So join me as we step inside Jean Rousseau's New York workshop to witness yet more of the incredible examples of quality, craftsmanship, and tradition to be found inside. Here. Yes. Uh, it's so great to see you. Yes, nice to meet you. Yeah, Welcome. Thank you. thank you for having me. I mean, you know, I've been to the Jean Rousseau boutique in Paris, mm -hmm. uh, in London, in the Piccadilly Arcade. It's great to finally uh, visit the Atelier here in New York. I mean, yes. it's a stunning building. It's a fantastic location. Yes. And uh, it's a beautiful space. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a wonderful place. It was actually the former Rockefeller mansion. Okay. And so we've been here. Actually, we moved here um, two years ago. And so uh, I think it's really uh, look represent also what's the brand, you know, like a twin between the mod modernity mm -hmm. and uh, and tradition. Yeah. And so well, I'm happy like to to have you here. Obviously, you know, we are like at, on the Fifth Avenue in the center of the Jewelry uh, mm -hmm. District in New York. So obviously, like it's kind of close the loop the loop for you yeah. for them to to come over. As most of our clients, they actually mm -hmm. travel around the world. It's nice to have you know in some important touch that they come here and have you know like the relationship they've had in another store in, in across the globe. Yeah, absolutely, and it's a big space too. And I, I see that you've got you know an atelier and kind of workshop and works yes. actually being done here. I mean, is all the work that you do for the, you know New York and the United States done here? Are you sending things to London and to Paris? How does that work? Yes, so there's actually two points on, on what you said. Uh, first off, you know, part of the branding of Jean Rousseau, and also because what we sell is mostly bespoke product. It's very important, yeah, the products are very technical, so it's very important for us and for the client to feel confident that we actually have, you know, both the craft and the sales guiding for technical details the client to know exactly what they're looking for. So it was very convenient for us to actually, you know, both have the, the showroom so we can show the product that we made, you know, and the final outcome that can be. But at the same time, you'll see in the back door behind, we have the beautiful workshop with all the craft people so we can have, you know, easily interaction does the same booth. Mm -hmm. So we move actually from, you know, how like street level boutique to here, which is on the third floor of this beautiful building, the Rock of I mentioned. And so we have the opportunity also to get the client inside yeah. and when we feel, you know, like uh, more warmth, yeah. uh, safety, and also, you know, like so for surely we can take the time and uh, discover the whole universe. Yeah, but it's always fun to be able to actually peek behind the curtain and actually see the craft being done. Yes. And to have the workshop, you know, here yeah. on the same floor, same location as the actual showroom, you know, allows the customers, you know, like myself, whenever I come in, you know, to really see the work being done 
uh, you know, in person. And that's something I, yes. that I always enjoy. I think it's key. I think it's always, you know, like a, it's and when you understand a product and what can be done, you know, it gives you the potential and actually uh, explore your creativity. And uh, and so for the when the people know, understand how something is made, they can understand what can be tweaked and what can be personalized. Yeah. So I think the client is really like a master of his destiny, I would mm -hmm. say. Uh, so that's how, you know, they, they can pull and create whatever they want. Yeah, well, that's kind of why I'm here. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, I've enjoyed this watch strap that uh, you made yeah. for me uh, in London in the Piccadilly Arcades, this suede green crocodile, Beautiful. that gold, 24 gold stitching. And I have to be honest, I mean, it's not something that I ever would have even considered for myself had Audrey not, mm -hmm. you know, so eloquently uh, recommended yes. it. Uh, and, you know, much to my surprise, I've really fallen in love with this. I mean, it's distinctive, it's unique. I mean, it really hits all those hallmarks of bespoke yes, uh, and that it, you know, is completely unique. I will never see anyone with this watch strap. Uh, and so I was thinking that maybe, um, you know, I like the idea of uh, possibly considering an additional accessory kind of made in the same style. I mean, if yeah. it's possible with the same material, that same green and green suede and the gold yeah. stitching. So I think that would be very interesting. For sure, like some, you know, like, uh, you know, because we have our own tannery, you know, uh, we are able to uh, d develop different collections of, you know, of, uh, you know, material and alligator. So most of the time people want to make sure they can stand out, you know, yeah. still very elegant because it's a tiny piece. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, if you have a matching material onto another accessories, you know, like the watch pops out and they kind of talk each other. Yeah. So we can definitely look on, on what could it be, but what other product would be interesting? Could be a, a belt, uh, it could be sometimes, you know, like a phone case, card the do you have any specific piece that would be uh, interesting? Yeah, well, I was thinking, um, and I've got a beautiful SD DuPont uh, Linea 2 lighter that I love, and I was thinking maybe okay. a lighter case. I don't have a proper case for it, nice. um, and I thought, why not, you okay. know, have that be something that, you know, like this watch strap embellishes the moment. Okay. Perfect. Well, I guess the best would be we pull out the piece. Okay. We're gonna meet with the with the, with the team. Okay? okay, so we can pull out some material and probably sketch something for you. Yeah, great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Look at these beautiful watch straps. So nice yeah. to meet you. Pleasure. Yeah. Nice thank to you. Meet you. Yeah, welcome. So let welcome. me introduce you to Shaina. She's our boutique director. Okay, so she's kind of an artistic eye. She will, uh, you know, like uh, making sure she can curate with you. Uh, She's like the one that has nice all the fun. Piece. Definitely. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. great. Well, yeah, you're in good hands. Yeah. Thank you. I'll let you guys uh, yeah. play the magic. Yeah. Thanks, Pierre. <laughs> well, I was telling Pierre, I've got this beautiful watch strap that uh, you made oh, for me nice. uh, in London with this absolutely incredible oh, green yes. suede crocodile oh, with a 24 karat gold stitching. It's not something that. I ever think I would have, uh, you know, commissioned on my own, but I was uh, encouraged by the Jean Rousseau staff to be a little bit adventurous. I love it. And you know, looking at these beautiful watch straps, so you can see that there's plenty of opportunity for that here. Absolutely. Um, well, you know, this is not a dress rehearsal, so you went for it, and I yeah, love that. Yeah, I was I like, you know, <laughs> we're gonna go. We might as well just go for it. You went for it. Uh, yeah. And that's one of the things I think is fun about a small accessory like this is that it does allow even a conservative guy like myself, who's uh, you know, been described as addressing too much like a funeral director at times, uh, to be a little bit more adventurous and bold yeah. uh, without being outlandish. Right. And uh, this, I have to say, I've really fallen in love with uh, just the subtle elegance, you know, by virtue of its size. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful. But I have found myself enjoying it. So I was thinking um, of kind of continuing that, and I've got this beautiful uh, Estée Dupont, also French, uh, lighter, and I carry it around in this absolutely embarrassing case. Okay, we'll take care of that. You know, <laughs> so I was thinking, you know, if I'm truly embellishing the moment, why not uh, also consider, you know, something for this? So this is my little trusty lighter. And so I just kind of wanted to see what you thought. I mean, I know that you guys do so many accessories. Yeah, so it doesn't stop at a watch strap. We do so much more here that gives you the opportunity to kind of create and kind of curate and pioneer your own collection. Okay from belts, wallets, handbags, briefcases. Really? And what's really, really popular here are watch rolls because our clients are traveling. We get yeah. a ton of clients from all over the world. So they get the opportunity to kind of create just yeah. anything that they want in the same material as well. Well, that's what I think is fun. Um, yeah. And especially about the bespoke process is that opportunity to kind of have a signature. Exactly. Right? And exactly. so that's kind of where I want to go with this. I've got a uh, line of shoes, you know, from a uh, bespoke from London, uh, Baron de Ridi, 
And I love the model. And one of the things I've done is had is I've had them made, you know, the same shoe mm -hmm. and like five or six different materials, right? Nice. And so it's a little bit of a signature. Yeah. For uh, sure. And so doing something like this, um, you know, not the same item, but the same leather. We can do that. Yeah. So what we do here, we sit down, we book, we book bespoke appointments, we kind of just kind of gauge your expectations, mm -hmm. and we kind of let you have the creative freedom. Okay. I would pair you with an artisan. Mm -hmm. We would do some things where we kind of just see what, how far can we go, yeah. uh, just because it is one of a kind. It's a one-off piece that we really don't a lot of times do, especially for lighters. Uh, so we've mastered a lot of the things for the leather goods, but we haven't mastered your ideas. Yeah. So that's what it's really about, you bringing your idea and collaborating with us, mm -hmm. and then we can actually bring your dreams to really? life. So, you know, I mean, in addition to like, say, doing a watch strap in a different material or a belt in a different material, or even like, you know, one of your beautiful purses yeah. in a different material, you can also, uh, you know, create and commission completely new models or accessories that you've never even done before. Like you'll Very actually nice. work on projects like that. Absolutely. It takes some time. Uh, we definitely need that understanding for our patients because nothing is done in a day. So these are all handcrafted. Um, so it does take a few steps in process with sitting with an artisan, sitting with myself to make sure that we get the idea on paper mm -hmm. and then it kind of comes to life. But it definitely takes some time. Uh, luxury always takes time. Yeah. yeah, well, and not just luxury, but one of the things I've always appreciated so much about Jean Rousseau is the craft. Yes. Right. I mean, here, you know, in New York, you've got your artisans just, you know, right behind, yeah, you know, the are. other side of that wall, actually doing the work. Yes, yes. And so it's not anonymous, which is something that I appreciate. I mean, you're able to, you know, indulge, you know, that creative and bespoke process, mm -hmm. uh, but you're also able to participate. Yes. Uh, which I think is really the best part of the bespoke process. Honestly, our clients really enjoy coming in and seeing our craftsmen sewing, hand stitching. Filtage, they get to really be a part of the process and it's kind of almost like a lost art. So people really appreciate the fact that you can still get something handmade in yeah. New York City. Absolutely. Yeah. That's amazing. What it would have been, I have to ask, you know, some of your kind of more uh, exciting or uh, outlandish commissions here. Mm, so we've done a, a traveling watch case um, with uh, an opportunity for a cigar bar. So right in the center of it, where you can actually store your cigars. Oh, really? Yeah, we're doing some really cool ice. So it's like a that. watch. It's a watch roll and a travel yeah, humidor. Yeah, so you can do like. Really? Something. I mean, mm. you want to have the opportunity to travel in style and yeah. with taste. So you definitely can do uh, pretty much anything you want. So those are some of the things that we're thinking about and always. Um, trying to make sure that we give the clients the opportunity to think of as well. But the most exciting things are definitely the travel cases, handbags, yeah. allowing our female clients to yeah. come in and see that it's just not about watch straps. You can also do bracelets, bangles, yeah. double wraps. Yeah, you can bring in your own hardware as far as belts are concerned. Okay. And we craft around it. Really, that's yeah. amazing. I know yeah. my wife, I mean, she loves the watch straps. And uh, you know, she's recently fallen in love with the bangles. Yeah. which again are such a fun way to integrate these incredible colors yes. that Jean Rousseau is tanning themselves. Yeah, exactly. And we, owning our own tannery gives us that freedom and ability to do so. Yeah. And you can do more his and her things. Yeah, uh, well, we haven't gotten <laughs> quite there yet, but who knows. Um, uh, well, what's the next step? I mean, so, you know, we've got the watch strap. This is the uh, lighter that I'd like to have the case made for. Yeah. Uh, where does this process or this adventure, uh, should next. we say, begin? I would definitely uh, sit down with our artisan at this point. We're gonna okay. sit down with Michelle. Uh, she can be able to do some drafts, some, some sketches, and kind of, again, gauge your expectation. Kind of see yeah. what you're thinking and put it on paper. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can kind of make it more of a physical, real thing. Okay. Once we make sure that we get the upper lining, we do your stitching, mm -hmm. we want to do all those aesthetic choices as well. Yeah. Um, but the technical is really important, so we have to sit down with a craftsman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. So here I have Michelle. She'll be able to take care of you with all the specs and the details for the technicals. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. It's, My pleasure. I'm so excited, Michelle. Absolutely. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. Thanks uh, for uh, indulging me in this. So the idea is that you know this is a watch strap that you made for me in London, and uh, I've loved it so much. I thought, why not give it a um, you know a pair, a, a pair, partner. if you will, a partner. Yeah. Um, so this is one of my favorite. Uh, S.E. DuPont, French also, right? So we're really indulging French our heritage. Um, but this is something I gifted myself for on my first trip to Cuba. And so I really, it's a special lighter. I enjoy it. Uh, but uh, as I was describing to um, Shaina, I really 
don't have a proper case for it. So why not, you know, do something like that? So I don't have anything specific in mind. And so I guess I kind of defer to your creative license. Yeah, we say our expertise, your vision. Okay. Um, so here we pulled out a few new book options for you. Mm -hmm. uh, we know you like that. It's actually my favorite as well. It's a very like suede finish on mm -hmm. the alligator. That's really unique. You can't really find it in a lot of places. Yeah. And it also makes it more water resistant. Does it really? Okay. Yeah. I mean, one of the things I like about the kind of the suede of their new buck alligator is that uh, it's, it tones it down a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, a real high gloss, which I love. I've got several, you know, alligator straps that have that beautiful kind of gloss finish. Can be quite bold, but in a like black and a brown, okay, that's great. But in a green, mm -hmm. you know, for someone, you know, maybe yeah. with my aesthetic would be too much. But in the suede crocodile, you know, it, it has a softness to it that well, allows you to be a little bit more. Uh, I said a little bit more adventurous with the color. So. So here we know. have um, a blue option like denim. And we almost went with that for a watch strap, but you know, uh, Audrey pushed me all the way. With the, All the way to the green. <laughs> the emerald green. Yeah, so we don't have that much left of the emerald okay. green. It's a very popular option. Really? Okay. Um, but we do have enough for your lighter. Okay. Yeah, no, I think it would be fun to match it, right? Because that, you know, even though they're different accessories, allows us to relate them together. And again, this is so distinctive. I like the idea of it as kind of a signature kind of item for me. And so why not, you know, kind of extend it to this? Yeah, I think the green also pulls out the gold very, very beautifully um, and matches the, the orange speckles and brings that out. Yeah. Um, so now that we've decided on the leather, we can go about thinking what we want for the silhouette for your lighter. Okay. Um, I mean, a lighter case, there's a lot of options. All right. Um, so why don't we start sketching mm -hmm. um, and talking that out. And then once we've settled on the final design, we can go through all the details with thread and paint color and all okay. that. Yeah. Um, so we'll take a measurement for the lighter. That way we know the exact cut and length um, and bring it to our technical director who does the computer aided design mm -hmm. to finalize this design for you according to the specs. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have the width is about four. We're going to go a little bit wider so it fits in. Um, and then the height is six and a half. Yeah, and I guess there's probably a lot of different directions you could take in terms of what the design is. So how do we, do you have any thoughts or kind of where do we, how do we start kind of thinking about that? So we'll start with the blank piece of paper first. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's literally starting with a blank piece of paper. Yeah, a blank canvas. Okay. Um, and then we have all the colors, um, all the lines, the silhouettes to go through. Um, let's set this aside and start sketching. Okay. This carefully over this there. Over here. Put these away. It's literally a blank, blank sheet of paper. Blank sheet of paper. Right. Yeah, a very analog, old school way. Um, but we also will bring in the technology later. But as we talk, I'll sketch it out with you. Okay. So you have a lot of options here. We can go with something that where the leather covers both the top and the bottom, um, something like this. So here's an option um, where the top and the bottom match. We sort of enunciate the angular lines of your lighter. Okay. And we also expose um, the mechanism on the side so you have easier access. Mm -hmm. So this would be designed to actually stay on the lighter, right? So it's not really coming off. It's Yeah, you know. it's, we'll pretty much stick it on this permanently. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. You'll have um, this mechanism open for okay. you. So I'll be stitched on the sides as well. And so that would effectively fit over the top of the lighter as kind of like a cap. Yeah. And it would be like meant to lid. stay fixed? Like it wouldn't be something I'm pulling or taking off? Um, no, but we can also give you options for a lid that comes off. So how do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, one of the things that I'd like to retain is, you know, the ability to really see the gold dust, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, could we look into some type of like pouch or sleeve? that would allow me to protect the case whenever it's in my briefcase, but then whenever you know I'm lighting a cigar, I can actually take it out and really kind of appreciate 
the craftsmanship that goes into this beautiful SD DuPont lighter. Mm -hmm. So here we can have um, another option that shows the inside of all these orange speckles mm -hmm. more. So here's a sort of cutout detail that we can do. It's like an eye. Okay. That way we can still highlight the orange specks mm -hmm. even when it's totally mm -hmm. within. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I think between these two, I am kind of leaning to this direction because again, it allows me to, um, you know, to take the ladder out and whenever I'm using it for it to be, you know, totally visible. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel about this cutout? I mean, I like the idea of the case of the pouch, but maybe with some type of strap that would, you know, maybe echo in some ways kind of the design of this mm -hmm. watch strap, which is the whole point of, you know, really the coordination. We have the option here where the top is open and we can also highlight the strap, the matching strap that you have here. Okay. Um, we can do a top where the strap sort of pulls over, um, almost like a little purse and with keepers. Okay. Kind of like a watch strap. Yeah, so it has a little bit of kind of watch detailing in it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I like that. And that way also it keeps the lighter within the case. You don't mm -hmm. have to worry about it Falling slipping out. out. Yeah. Um, we can echo the strap in a different scale, okay. in a mini scale, essentially. We'll also um, continue the edge painting here mm -hmm. you have with your strap. Interesting. And also the gold stitching on the sides, we'll do some tacks. That way it keeps it together strongly. Um, we'll do the threading on the sides. And also, well, this strap will be really tiny on here, so we don't yeah. want to do the threading all yeah, over the way. It can't be that big, right? Yeah. Yeah. So maybe we want to do just a few tacks on the tip. Mm hmm. I think that would be more minimal. Okay. Um, but still highlights the gold, especially at this placement. Um, you'll bring the gold here, over here. Yeah, no, I like that. Right. And I like the idea of the tacking, that almost in some ways reminds me of kind of the bar tacking we have uh, on the back of our ties, right? The little oh, yeah. double tacking. Yeah, the same double right. tack we do. You do it on our, leather goods as well? On our leather goods, okay. yeah. And then it would be lined so that, again, just like with this watch strap, it's fully lined because that gold thread can actually be quite abrasive. So we want to make sure that however it's made inside, it's not going to scratch the lighter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll do the same um, lining, if you'd like, mm -hmm. on the bottom of this. Okay. Um, as well as the inside. Okay, excellent. Yeah, that's great. So then, I mean, that I think is great. I mean, in this, you know, green suede, that's probably exactly the direction I want to go. Voila. 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 Uh, that's beautiful. So now that we have the final design, if you have some time, you can go grab a coffee or lunch right now, mm -hmm. and I'll hand this off to our technical guy. Um, Nathaniel, he will 3D render this for you, so you okay. have a very realistic depiction of how this will look. And we can also play with the colors on there. Okay. Um, the thread, the edge paint, um, to really finalize your design. Thank you. Okay, look at this. That's progressed. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have Nathaniel, our technical director. Nathaniel. Kirby, nice to meet Nathaniel. you. Nice to yeah, meet thank you too. You. So this is, so we sketched this out. So this is just a basic sketch. Okay. Um, it's not that realistic, but it helps the technical director understand the project more. Okay. Um, so we have a few different options and colors. Okay. Um, so I handed this off to Nathaniel, right. and he has done a very beautiful realistic rendering okay. of your final project. And do all the bespoke projects end up with the 3D rendering? If they are complicated and new enough, yes. Okay. Sorry, here we have a 3D model of the sketch uh -huh. uh, uh, to scale uh, based off your uh, lighter. Okay. Uh, we're able with this uh, very cool software to input some materials that we will directly take from our stock. Mm -hmm. uh, I can apply it to the 3D model and create different versions with different colors, mm -hmm. different textures and it can also change the different threads, the colors, uh, the paints. We can go very custom. And this way we can uh, present different variations of the product before even creating the product mm. itself. Yeah, and allow 
you know, the customer to really visualize in a very real way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. So that's, that's great. Well, I've been kind of looking at this. I mean, the only thing I think I would change is, you know, my original idea would be for the case, whenever the lighter is in it, to really cover the entire lighter, not okay. just the bottom half. Just because if I'm throwing this into my briefcase, I don't want the top kind of damaging. So I'm sure. it's great to kind of see this rendered because that could have been something maybe missed, you know, uh, you know when we were sketch sketching it because we're not actually seeing the lighter inside of it. So I think it's beautiful. That's the only thing I would... So I, I like the double keeper. Um, I like the gold stitching, right? And then we've got the double tacking, which is great. And so, yeah, I think that's the only thing I would change. Yeah, it's amazing. Thank you. Yeah. So then what's next then? So this is, we've got this, and then I guess at that point, um, you begin making it? Yes, we'll begin making it. So either here in our atelier um, or in France. Mm -hmm. So does this actually produce the pattern pieces? Does it spit out like a pattern? No, not at no. all. Okay. This is just for 3D and like for visualization purposes. Okay. Um, so this but this will help us to create, this will help me to create the tools. Okay. And then once you have this, are you, uh, Nathaniel, creating the actual pattern? Or yes. does that then go back to the bespoke artisan? Usually well, Nathaniel. Yeah, I will be the one taking care of drawing all the tools, the patterns, um, the 2D drawings with the measurements, so that it will be up to, well, it will respect the dimensions of your lighter. Mm -hmm. And we also have some room to play with, so it's not too big or too small. It's, it's just the right fit. Yeah. So it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Easier said than done, I would imagine, you know, which course, is why this yes. is so important. Um, and are you using paper patterns? Like, will you be on like cardboard or is it a metal mm -hmm. stamp or? So we, we use several, we use paper. We will also can use, um, sometimes for bigger pieces, we will use wood. Okay. And we can also use plastic. Okay, wow, that's amazing. So you've got a lot of you know, tools at your disposal. Great. Well, I can't wait to see this come to life. I'm so excited. Well, Nathaniel, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, this has been great. Michelle, thank uh, you. this has been a pleasure. Thank you for your work, you know, bringing this to life. And I can't wait to see the finished case. Mm -hmm.